Hello there, I'm Barry Robinson for Scarborough TV News. Here we are on Oliver's Mount. This is the highest place in Scarborough and we're overlooking the bay. Just look at that beautiful view. We're going to go on a short car journey. I'm going to take you to two new developments. So why don't you follow me? We've got out of the car and we are now at the new lifeboat house, just been built. And I'm with John Senior, who is the operations manager for the RNLI in Scarborough. Well, good morning, Barry. Good morning to you, John. Now, this is a magnificent structure. Well, we're very excited about it. This is our new lifeboat station. The whole purpose of it is, of course, to accommodate our new Shannon class lifeboat which arrives here in Scarborough around about the 27th of November, as we've already discussed, and that's a very exciting date for us. So right now we have crews down in Pool uh, doing the familiarisation with our new lifeboat, and yesterday I was over in Liverpool taking the launch crew over to look at our new uh, Supercat launch system, which is also very exciting, and the two marry up together and become the new Shannon-class lifeboat system because we've had to have a brand new building because the old one was too small and too old. Well, quite right. The, the last boat was called a Mersey and she was a 15 knot boat. The new Shannon class is 30 knots, so double the speed almost. Um, and the new system is much bigger altogether, so it just wouldn't have fitted into the old lifeboat station. So yes, we get a brand new lifeboat station, but along with that also, we get real estate that we can use for our onshore training, because part of the message with the RLI is to educate uh, young people of the dangers of the sea. And with our Swim Safe program, our Hit the Surf programmes and our Respect the Water campaign, all of this is going to be launched from our new uh, facility here, which as you can see behind us is really very, very impressive. So yes, we're very, very excited here in Scarborough. So apart from the look and the size, what is new inside? Well, we've got obviously the size of it. We've actually got hot showers, hot and cold running water, which we didn't have before. I have an office. My station officer has an office too. We've got somewhere that we can actually interview staff. Well, I used to have to take them in the kitchen before if we've got people coming in, new recruits or whatever. Uh, we've got training facilities. We've got overhead projectors. And also we can invite the public in because there's a public interaction space. So there'll be um, areas that the public can go in and not just view the boat, but actually learn about life-saving in the modern day and how they can prevent unnecessary death at sea. Because it's a risky place out there, as we found out over the last couple of weeks. There is a serious side to this. You know, seven people have died in the last, I think, two weeks down in Suffolk and other parts of the world, uh, other parts of the UK. And that is something that we are desperate, you know, the RLI's mission is to try and stop that happening in the future. So just remind me again, when is the lifeboat coming, the new lifeboat? The new lifeboat will be here on the 27th of November. We, as I say, we've got crews down in pool and various parts of the world doing their training at the moment um, to ready to receive the new lifeboat but the actual lifeboat will be hopefully weather permitting will be arriving here in the bay carving through up from Filey at around about 130 1330 uh, to 2 to 1400 hours on Sunday the 27th of November and we're going to be putting on a bit of an act here in Sky there'll be all sorts of things happening down here on the seafront uh, we're going to make sure there's a really good celebration to welcome her in there'll be a short church service and we're also going to be having an open day here so hopefully weather again weather permitting and providing we're not at service um, the lifeboat station will be open on the 27th, I hope, from about 10 o'clock till 2, so the general public can come around and have a look at what we're going to be doing. And John, your website? Uh, yeah, the website is uh, is there and live. If you put Scarborough Lifeboat into Google, you'll bring it up. I think it's scarboroughlifeboat.co.uk. John, as always, it's great to see you. Thanks for having a chat. No, thank you very much indeed, Barry. Well, as you can see, we've moved up from the lifeboat house over to the famous indoor market. And I'm with the one and only Nick Taylor, the Scarborough Town Centre Manager. Now, this is going to be marvellous when it's done, Nick. It's going to be fantastic, isn't it? Yep, it's absolutely amazing to see that the actual steelwork's now going in for the new mezzanine floor. And the work's really getting moving along quickly now. They're working behind the hoardings over there very much. 
they're building out the decking going onto there and then there'll be new units going up on there we've got about 18 altogether going up there in the future so very very exciting times and of course we're now asking for people to come forward to come and have a look and see if they'd like to take a unit somewhere in the market and we're getting a great response we're very excited by it and it's about 2.7 million 2.7 million being invested yeah. in the building altogether so a very very encouraging sign not only for markets here in Scarborough markets all over the country because markets are seeing a great renaissance throughout the land at the moment and it's great news what do you hope to see in here well we're hoping to see all sorts of different artisan food operators so we're look we're ta already talking to people from chocolatiers to people making specialist jams to have with your meats all sorts of things interesting type of, of caterers and some very interesting food operations coming in as well so we're very excited about the whole thing yeah. And of course, all this noise and the dust and everything will have gone very shortly. Well, there's not too much dust. I have to say the contractors have been amazing. Considering this is an old, old building, the level of dust has been kept to a minimum and the Good. equipment they're Good. using has been fantastic. So 10 out of 10 to the contract yeah. construction firm. But yeah, the lads are getting on with it really well. We're still operating. We haven't had to close. We had no intention to do. We wanted to stay open. Many of these people are, um, are wholesalers as well, so we couldn't close the place down. Um, and they're all working around it really well. So uh, 10 out of 10 to everybody. So when do you think? it will be finished well it'll be actually but we'll be actually operating as a fully operational market in here from around December um, in early December um, but the actual there'll be still some snagging going on into the new year well I'm going to say thank you very much indeed Nick and no doubt we'll be talking again very we will indeed when we, we get will. some more further work done we'll see you soon yeah thanks guy well what a great day we've had we've seen the brand new Scarborough lifeboat house and we've seen the market hall when they're completed it's going to be wonderful for Scarborough just goes to show we are the best we're number one here in Scarborough I'm Barry Robinson reporting for you for Scarborough TV News